This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the best place to build a beautiful website. Recording? Yes. Recording, Recording audio. audio. Clapsing. Clapsing. We've begun. There's an age old expression. Oh, I wish I was a fly on that wall, which brings the question, what the fuck does it look like to be a fly on the wall? That's what we're gonna answer today. Now, Hollywood would have you believe that it looks something like this. Just a bit of Voronoia and node magic. I don't know why, I mean, I guess the reason they think this is because flies have compound eyes, which are made of a bunch of tiny lenses, but in the same way that we have two eyes and we kind of close one and the other, and we see a bunch of repeated stuff, we interpolate it in our heads. So Hollywood's dumb and uh, yeah. <laughs> and really think about what I'd say at this point. Um, to do this, I guess we need like a set where the, our fly can fly around. And you know what, what's better than this room? Show the, show the room around. Wow, uh, I made the entire thing in a 3D. Well, not everything, right? Like this chair, I'm like, ah, that looks difficult to model. I don't model this. So I made a, a replica of this room and I also made a uh, 3D fly with legs that, you know, I can animate and you can flap the wings and stuff like that. And let's send it flying around the room. Whoa, what am I looking at? This looks very different than the Hollywood vision on so well, what's going on here well flies have a very wide field of vision which makes sense you you, you you move your arm to the side of a fly it almost knows you're you know coming at it so you can see almost like 180 degrees now technically the resolution and stuff like this is very low it's got a little, little fly baby brain but whatever we take artistic liberties well what looks even cooler is if you were to like separate one eye and then the other each one like a its own panoramic uh, fish eye kind of thing um I, I don't know what questions I'm really answering in this video. It's not like I, I went into the brain of a fly. I'm just like, here's what I think it looks like. <laughs> I don't have any science to back this up. By the way, the way you set up this camera, if you're interested, you gotta be in cycles, you go to the camera settings, you set it to panoramic, and then you have a bunch of uh, options of how, well, what kind of pan panorama you want in the same way that you can kind of map a map, right? And uh, equidistant, equiangular kind of things. Um, I, that's what I did. I, I went through these settings and just had a camera go around the room. Um, I, I was... <laughs> mm, okay, well, uh, to be honest with you, I, I'm not really in the mood uh, to continue this. So let's wrap it up. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Not that, you know, three minutes, whoops. Not that three minutes is a long time, but whatever. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Now making a website can be a lot to juggle, especially if you don't know how to code, if you don't know how to do any of the design stuff, whatever. Um, and Squarespace is meant to streamline this stuff. It's about making a website as easily as possible. Literally just drag and drop. You don't need to worry about any of the coding. You don't need to worry about any of the nonsense and some features of Squarespace you might be interested in are analytics. So you can track who is going to your website demographic type information. I am so bad at juggling. Also email campaigns so you can send out your personal or brand message to your audience, whoever that may be. And while Squarespace is already affordable at an annual subscription at less than $10 a month, I'm about to make that deal substantially sweeter. You can use my link in the description to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or domain. So uh, if you want to build a beautiful website, this is the place to go. Click the link in the description and I'll see you later. Whew.